Pianos aren't easy things to put into spaces. They're large and they're heavy and they don't move that easy. This is an upright Hamilton piano, uh, 88 keys, three pedals. This is what they would call a studio piano. I was able to convince Portland Piano Company to give me a piano and this is the one they gave me. And me and my friends were able to push it up the street every Thursday and we just played music for people. I came out of Al's Den, which is right on the corner of 13th and Burnside, and saw a cellist playing outside on that very street corner. And I thought, I wish it was that easy for me to bring an instrument to a street corner and play. I created Piano Push Play so that I could play the piano on the street like any street performer. This conundrum I find in people being so perfectionist about creating classical music or jazz music that they're almost too scared to just play for people for fun and for enjoyment and that's, that's something that we all need to work on I think as musicians to just be able to play for people. There's such a variety of music that can be played on a piano and um, people just relate to it in a way that it's just natural. I've realized how much the piano means to me and how, it, how much it's always meant to me and how special and connected I feel to it, but how much I, I want to be an advocate for it. You know, I want to be an advocate for music in general, but, but I've found through doing this project and seeing people's reaction to it, how I want to just find more ways for people to experience live music and trained musicianship outside a concert hall. Everybody loves the piano in some way, some form. They love to play it or they love to listen to it. They love to see somebody playing it. It's fascinating for them. And I've also learned that there are many pianos out there in piano stores or people's homes that aren't used. And what I want to do is find ways to collect those pianos and put them into spaces where they will be enjoyed and played and listened to.